Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to find the volume of a frustrum. Okay, what is that? Well, that is a chopped off pyramid is basically what it is. Now, to find the volume of this three-dimensional figure, we actually have to find the volume of a full pyramid and subtract the part that's chopped off or cut off off of the top. So we're going to kind of work through the steps on how you would do that. So let's first start off. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see the figure a little bit better. First, we're going to have to visualize what part of it was cut away. So what we want to do is we want to just kind of sketch in the top of this pyramid. Okay, so there's the top of the pyramid that has been cut off. And it's actually quite a bit bigger than this. It's quite a bit taller because I can tell that I've chopped off more than half of its general height because this length, the base of the very bottom of it is 10 and this length is 6 and that's not even halfway uh, or half the distance. So that means I've cut off quite a large piece at the top. So the general idea here is we're going to take the volume of this entire pyramid and we're going to subtract off the part that we chopped off. So let's go back and think about our our volume formulas. So the volume of a pyramid is one-third base area times height and that would be of the full pyramid. Then I'm going to subtract the volume that I've cut off. So I'm going to subtract a small volume, a small pyramid which is one-third base area times height. So I'm subtracting the formulas but the difference is going to be my base is going to be different, base area is going to be different, my height is going to be different. Well, I can just look at this figure and figure out the base area of the, and this is the larger one, okay, I'm going to subtract the smaller one, or the parts chopped off the top. Well, the volume of the large one is pretty easy. I can see that my base is 10 by 10, so the area of my base is 100, so one-third of 100, and times my height. Well, the height of the pyramid is from this apex all the way down and that's going to be a little tricky to figure out but we'll figure that out in a minute okay so I'm going to leave my H in here as just an H right now and that's the height of the whole thing and then I'm going to subtract one-third the base area well what's the base area of this small pyramid well that's six by six so that's just 36 and I've got to figure out this height and I don't know that yet, so I'm going to leave that as my other H, my unknown H. So I'll call this H1 for the full height and H2 for my small height. Okay, now to figure these out, i got to do a little bit of work. I'm going to have to set up some proportions. So I know that this base is 10, and that would correspond with this entire side of my pyramid, which I need to know. And then this base is six and then I've got to correspond it to this side edge of my pyramid. So I'm going to set up a proportion to do that. So I'm going to set up a proportion um, and I'm going to call this length X. Okay, these sides are all X. So I'm going to say X is to six, X is to six as this whole side, which would be X plus eight is to, well, its base is 10. So I've set up a proportion to try to figure out this length. Now let's solve for x. So let's do cross products. So I get 10x is equal to 6x plus 48. Subtract 6x, so 4x is equal to 48. So x is 12. Okay, so that helps me a lot. I know that this length right here is 12. Okay, so what's this full edge of the entire pyramid? Well, it's going to be 12 plus 8, so that's 20. So that's the length here, okay? So if that's 20, I can now figure out, okay, that's 12, that's 20. I can now calculate this height on the inside. Okay, how am I going to find this height on the inside? Well, I have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's see. I know that I need to draw a right triangle here, so I'm going to draw from here the, the corner over to the center and up and I need to know this length right here. Well this is a square 
So let's go over here and draw this for a second. I'm going to look at it straight down. If this is 10 and this is 10, so my square is 10, I'm just facing straight down on it. What is this dimension? Well, if you remember your 45, 45, 90 rules, this is a 45 degree angle, this is a 45 degree angle, this is a 90 degree angle. So all I have to do is divide 10 by the square root of 2, and that gives me 10 root 2 over 2, or just 5 root 2. So that's this dimension. So this dimension is 5 square root 2. Okay. Now I can use my Pythagorean theorem knowing that this dimension is 12, 20, this dimension is 5 root 2, and I can solve for my big height. So let's go down and use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared, which is my height, plus 5 square root 2 squared, which is one of my legs, is equal to 20 squared. So let's see, that's a squared plus, well, 5, 5 root 2 squared is 25 times 2, so 50. Um, is equal to 400. So a squared is equal to 350. And then I can take the square root of that. Let's see. So let's go over here and take the square root of 350. And that gives me 18.7. So a is 18.7. And that is my full height. So I can now plug it into my formula for the full height. One third of 10 or 100 times 18.7. That's the big height. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing for my small height. Okay. So for here, I can do the same thing, draw a right triangle. I'm going to look down at my base. My base is 6 by 6. So this dimension from the corner in, I'm going to use my 45, 45, 90 rules, um, where this is 90, these two are 45. So what's 6 divided by the square root of 2? And that's going to be 6 root 2 over 2, which is 3 root 2. So that is now this little radius right here, 3 root 2. Now I can use the Pythagorean theorem. 12 is my hypotenuse. 3 root 2 is one of my legs. I'm solving for this height, which is my other leg. So let's go down here and figure that out. Um, a squared is my height, plus 3 root 2 squared is equal to 12 squared. So that's 9 times 2, which is 18, is equal to 144. And then plus a squared, so let's crank that one out. Let's see, 144 minus 18. And then I'm going to take the square root of 126. Oops. Square root of 126 is 11.2. So A is equal to 11.2. So that's my other height. So that's this height, 11.2. Now I can plug that into my formula right here. So 1 third of 36 times 11.2. Now let's just subtract. So let's clean this up. So let's see, we kind of got a lot of work around here, but this is my formula. I have one third, one third times 100 times 18.7. So the volume of the entire pyramid is coming out to be 623.33, so 623.3 repeating minus, let's see, one third, so type in one divided by three times 36, well we know that's going to be just 12, but that's okay, times 11.2, and that's going to give me 134.4. Now let's subtract these. So 6, 20, uh, 23.3 minus 134.4 leaves me with 488.9, and that would be volume, so it's cubic inches. And that's how you would find the volume of this 
partial pyramid. Hope this video was helpful.